In this video, I'm going to show you how to take the output from a camera and save it into what's called a render texture. And then with this render texture, you can display it onto any object in your scene. So in this example, I used the billboard in the background here. And we're taking an aerial camera, almost like it's a helicopter news feed. And then I also put a canvas on just to display breaking news at the top, like you would have on a news banner. And other examples you could use for this is like a jumbotron at a live sports event where it could follow the action, display it on a billboard. You could also make a security system with CCTV and add image effects using the canvas over top of it. So as you can see in the background here, this billboard, it updates real time with everything displayed on that camera. Another really common use of something like this would be making a mini map for a game. So you can see an overhead mini map of what's going on. In this scene I have set up, I have a empty billboard here. So on top of the billboard model, it's just a, a white plane. And if we run the game, you can see it's just blank here. So what we are gonna do is make a camera and make it angled down from an aerial shot, almost like it's a news helicopter shot. And then we're gonna display that on this billboard. So in the hierarchy, just right click and create a new camera. And I'm gonna name it aerial camera. Now I'm going to zoom out a bit and just kind of fly up here and find a shot in the scene that I like for the camera and then select the camera in the hierarchy and hit control shift and F and that'll automatically align your camera with the current scene view. Now if you look at the thumbnail for the camera when it's selected, it sees the same view as the scene view. In the project folder below, right click and go to create and select render texture and I'm just going to name this one aerial texture. Now a render texture is like any normal texture, except this is going to take an input from something else like our camera. So if you look, there is a bunch of settings on here. You can adjust what you want for the resolution and all the different settings. I'm going to leave these as default. Now we want to select our aerial camera. And then in the properties in the inspector, you can see there's this target texture field. So if you click the little icon next to it, you can select the texture from here or you can just drag and drop it right from the project folder. Now everything that this camera sees is gonna be outputted into this texture here. Let's now select that plane that we set up as a billboard screen. So this can be any 3D object, I'm just using a plane here, and drag and drop the render texture onto it. And now you can see the image from the camera. So if we run our game now, it's actually gonna be updating real time as we move and you can see the animations display. So that billboard is displaying what's on the camera. So that's the basics of using a render texture. This will already get you up and going. I'm just gonna show a few other things here to kind of juice up your game a bit where we can add a canvas and some UI elements on top of that canvas as well. On the camera in the hierarchy, let's right click on it and create a UI canvas. I'm just gonna name this news canvas. And then we want to go into the settings and just change the render mode to screen space camera. So it renders in front of this camera specifically. Now drag in our aerial camera into that slot so it knows which camera to use. Now we want to adjust the plane distance of the canvas. This is how close the canvas is to that camera. So uh, just playing around here, I found 0.5 looks like it should be pretty good. Now adjust your scene view so you can actually see this canvas. So Right now it's sitting right in front of this camera, so I'm just going to move over here to look right at it. And this works just like any normal canvas. So it kind of looks like it's in world space, but it's actually just sitting right in front of this camera. So now just like any normal canvas, let's make a UI panel. I'm just going to make this panel a dark blue sitting at the top, and this will be kind of like our little banner bar. I'm just going to add a Text Mesh Pro component. And I'm just going to make it say breaking news and adjust the settings a bit just so it fits right on this banner. If you select the camera again, you can see in the little preview, this is what it's going to look like now. So that should be good. So let's run our game and test this out. So it's a bit far in the background, but you can see as we move the player around and do an attack animation, all of that is displaying on that billboard and it's showing the breaking news headline. So you could animate that UI, make the news thing scroll across, anything you want. You can also add some kind of filters to your UI to make it look like a 
you know, fuzzy black and white security camera footage, add an overlay. And don't forget, you can add a simple Cinemachine camera script to it and have it follow around the player. So then it could be like uh, I was saying earlier, where we can make a Jumbotron sports video. Get creative, find your own uses, and uh, don't forget to post them below and I'll be sure to check them out and see what you guys are making. So thanks for watching. If this helped you, please like and subscribe and I'll get more future videos out soon.